Hey, welcome back to hanging out with the fat guys. We are here at Naked River Brewing Company in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And this is a really cool looking brewery. Uh, as you see, you'll, it's just it's an old trolley car uh, factory repair area. One of the oldest buildings in Chattanooga from 1875. Uh, it's just a really cool place. They've been open for about a year, and it looks like business is just booming for them. And we're going to be trying a series of beers here. So let's get started with this Yeti Player One Session IPA. This is a super clear. Super clear. Yellow. Yep. The yellow. Did they anything for it? A little citrusy. Okay. Light citrus. Yeah, so it's a light citrus with some bitterness. Crispy bitterness. Very crispy. Almost like a pilsner. Yeah, almost like a pilsner. Really? I would say that. Yeah. That one actually has a bite. And it's a true bite. Yep. This reminds me of some basic IPAs, but also a little bit like a pilsner. Yep. The malt is light. Uh, it looks very light. There's a bitterness, there's a crispness yes. to it, so it makes it taste more like a lager than it yeah. is a. Uh, yeah. I think that it will be a refreshing beer, not a typical IPA at all for me. Yeah, it's pretty refreshing. Yeah, not bad. The next one is a Luda Crisp, a brewed IPA. Pretty clear. Very clear, I would say. And it's funny too because we're here in Tennessee having a ludicrous when normally we're in Atlanta where ludicrous is. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, it's, it's, it's a little, I think it's a little dry smelling, you know, I mean, something with maybe a light sweetness. Oh, yeah, it's crispy. Oh, it's a little sour. Yeah. Crisp, sour, sour, light body. Yeah, very light body. But the main thing is the crispness, actually. It was ludicrous. It was right. It is. I got nothing from the aroma. It's, it's again, it, it's a sour, but in like a tangy way. Not in a, no. not in a sour ale kind of way. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. But this is not a success for me. I mean, I do think it's a little watery. But I think that's style brood IPA. Brood IPA again has that kind of dry champagne kind of yeah. you know, aspect. Like a steady way. I expect something more yeah. than just this. If you like champagne and you want to try beer, yeah. It does it for New York, that's for sure. You got champagne taste, yeah. but a beer budget. Champagne of beers. And now we'll move on to this pineapple man bun. It's a little more a little closer to amber. Yep, it is amber. Clear. Very clear. Extremely clear. Maybe a little pineapple. Yeah, I smell the pineapple. Yep. Yeah. It's pineapple. Actually, taste, that's what it tastes like. Pineapple with a little bit of bitterness, like like canned pineapple. So it says it, I mean, it's not just sweet pineapple, it's a little bit kind of thing. Yeah. Pineapple, bitterness. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Not a heavy bitterness, it's a very light bitterness. It's kind of pleasant. I mean, again, I, I don't know if I find myself drinking a lot of them, but on the same note, uh, it's a nice beer. That's not bad, but you better like pineapple. And the next on the list is the Gorge. <laughs> okay. Very dark amber, very clear again. <laughs> Hmm. 
Oh, a little citrusy. Tropical, right? Maybe, yeah, tropical citrusy. Yep. Citrus, uh, earthiness, tropical. It's very tasty. I mean, again, it's a, there's obviously citra hops in there. Yeah. yeah. And again, it's got that earthiness. But I must say, I, the earthiness or bitterness? I don't know. There's not a lot of bitterness to me. It's a, a deep earthiness. Yeah, okay. This is quite nice. It's nice. I like this one. So far, I, I yeah. like this one. Yeah, yeah. So nice. We're now to this Sturgeon General, a fish beer of some kind. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, nice clear amber. Again, all the beers have been very clear and nice. Totally clear. Their finish has been very nice, yeah. Absolutely. Maybe a night floral. It's all right, we gotta get our nose in there. Yes, it's floral, it's a malt, not much bitterness at all. In fact, I'll say that their IPAs have been, some of them have been lightly bitter, some of them have been not bitter at all. Um, which I think makes it relatively pleasant for drinking when they're not bitter. Yeah, but not, I wouldn't say, it's hard to say true style anymore. Let's back up. You can't see true style. The styles have gone off the rails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the last 10 years. That's nothing left of them. But, yeah, it's a nice floral IPA. Not a lot of bitterness. <laughs> it's nice. I mean, it's not, yeah, nice is the right word. I think so. Yeah. So we just have the wheat tea here. So this beer apparently is blended or infused with Chattanooga's local tea company, Positivity. It is supposedly very herbal. Nice tea in this. Yeah, no, there's definitely tea in here. This is really interesting. This are almost full of every kind of tea aroma. Yeah. Oh wow, this tastes like tea, like cold tea. Give me a nice tea with a light, light, <laughs> light bitterness. Maybe we found the beer. I mean, look, we're, we're from the south. Well, not all of us. No, but yeah. I'll tell you, we're used to sweet tea. This is better than sweet tea. So much better. This is beer tea. Yeah, I beer mean, it tea. has some sweetness to it. Yeah, it's got. A, I mean, it's got a whole bunch of stuff in there. It's definitely infused. I can, I can taste some ginger in there. Taste that sweetness. Yeah. I mean, this, this is a series again, but it really tastes like a tea bag and beer. This is super cool. I like this. Super cool and actually quite drinkable. Yeah, it's not just a crazy idea. I mean, it, it, it's a fun idea that also just tastes good. Nice job. That was funny. I like that. All right, now this squatch watch and wheat. Nice clear again. It's a wheat, so it's not very hazy though. I mean, they, they do a really good job of keeping their beers yeah. super clean here. Stop the wheat already on your nose in the beer all the time. Okay. Um, wheat food. It has. It has a light sourness to it. Also, a little bit of sweetness to it. So, again, the first thing that gets me is the crispiness because it's really crispy. Which is surprising because this is a wheat beer. Yeah, exactly. Heavy wheat. Um, maybe four? 
again, it's this, there's this little hint of what I think is sourness, but again, it's not sour, it's... It almost tastes like lager too. It is, it's a, exactly what I was thinking to say. It's a lager to me. Yeah. Interesting. So I guess if you want something kind of lagerish, maybe it's perfect river beer. You know, I think, you know, yeah. it's lagerish. You know, right? But it's a wheat beer, so... Yeah. And we're going to continue with this dark brown ale. I do like brown ale. Yeah. Is it brown? It looks almost reddish brown. brown. I mean, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Huh. It's got a nice light roasty smell. Yeah, nice, nice aroma. Nice. It has the maltiness, a little bit of dark chocolate, and it's also very crisp. Very Everything is, is very extremely crisp. crisp. It's clear and crisp. Yeah. But it does. It has malty, light roastiness, yeah. maybe a little caramel nuttiness. Yeah. I got some dark chocolate in here. Yeah, I can see that. But again, I think it's like caramel. It's not so much dark chocolate as caramel to me, but I think there's a caramel, but a light nuttiness maybe. This is a very pleasant one too, but again, that crispness is on. It is. It's so, it's so strong, dominant. I got some vanilla. I mean, it's a tasty beer. Yeah, I like it. But it almost tastes like a brown lager. <laughs> the crispness is getting me. The crispness. Yes. All of them. All of them is crispy. Crisp. All right, now let's move on to this Chatty Kelly. This is a double barrel aged stout. And actually, this doesn't look so, I mean, it's dark, but it actually looks brown, not black. Agree? Ooh, you can smell the whiskey. Good. I can live with that. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Oh yeah, it's just whiskey. Oh wow. So the, the story on this one apparently is they aged it six months in one whiskey barrel, six months in another whiskey barrel. Now considering they've only been here open for about a year. This beer essentially just came out of these casks, and we're enjoying it right now. Mm -hmm. And this is very tasty. Yeah, there, you got all the uh, vanilla from, from the cask. And some caramel flavor. Yeah. Uh, it's not heavy. It's not heavy. It's not crisp, so don't worry. It's not <laughs> heavy, though. It's no, actually it's, not. it's actually quite medium body for a double barrel yep. aged stout. Yep. Um, but it's good. It's really, really good. It's tasty. Very tasty. Holy crap. Yep. <laughs> Again. I, this, this is coming up on maybe, I think, maybe my favorite of the night. Could very well be. Only got one more. Yeah, have so. a slump in. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, we're going to end this session with the Moan Pie Stout. Very dark. I need to come. Oh, I have to taste it. Yeah, a lot of maltiness. It's, yeah, there's a sweetness. I mean, compared with the other one, this is weak. It's true, so there's a very light sweetness to it. Yeah. There's a malty readiness, which is appropriate with a moon pie. Yeah, um, and still, it has yep. a pretty light body. It, but it's, it's not it's a that lighter, well, medium yep. body. Yep. And also, the thing is, I can taste the graham cracker. Now, I, I can taste the graham cracker now. So now I'm going to... Hold on. Yeah. I can taste what's kind of marshmallow flavor. I can taste the graham cracker. There's a light chocolate. This, this is actually a pretty reasonable rendition of a moon pie. Yeah. But yeah, it's medium I body. must say, I never had the pie, so I can't really draw that conclusion, but I believe you. I expected this to be heavy. Yeah, but it's not. It's not. I mean, a pastry stout should have this very sweet, very deep, dark. Yeah. Know? This is very nice, though, but again, 
I'm gonna go back and going through all of it. Yeah. My favorite right now is back to that uh, Chatty Kelly. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Um, I also, I think the, again, it was it the, uh, the Gorge? Yeah, I think the Gorge IPA. That I like, the one with the Citra in it. Yeah, and I actually like the, the, the one with it infused with tea. Oh, yes. And that, look how quickly we forget that wheat tea was yeah, delicious. That was good. I think wheat tea is number one. Chatty Kelly for me is number two. And then that gorge is number three. Yeah. I, I actually totally agree. Well, thanks for that out with the fat guys. We're going to be drinking some more beer here in Chattanooga. But again, Naked River Brewing Company, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Very crispy beers. I'd say definitely check it out in your area. It's definitely one to hit up and get your own opinions on it. And uh, just a thumbs up and don't forget to get those notifications by hitting that bell so you get can the bell. get more of the fat guys yep. in your mailbox.